What's good, Bear Fam? This is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feasts. You know what time it is. You know what day it is. It's time for another cooking video. Today we're going to do an old favorite of mine. We're going to do beef brisket. But we're going to do it in a power pressure cooker. So, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and make sure you share the video, guys. Let's get started with the beef brisket. As I always do, I'm going to start this one with my supporting cast as always. Of course, the main star of the show, my beef brisket. So this is probably about, I would say it's probably uh, maybe three and a half or four pounds. I bought a big one and I just cut the flat portion off. And if you guys don't know, beef brisket, it, it, it's a very, very tough cut of meat. Um, it usually comes in slabs about yay long. Um, it's got the point in, it's got the flat in, and uh, today I'm decided to use to use just the uh, flat in. Um, but it is a it is a piece of meat that is really it really lends itself to long cooking time, stewing, braising, pressure cooker, crock pot, that type of thing. So we'll get into that just a little bit more. But my supporting cast is this: I got one whole large. This is a very large onion cut up, and I got some. This is tomato sauce, some diced tomatoes, I got some beef broth here, and then of course I got my pink Himalayan sea salt, this is just regular old lye seasoning salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and of course I have my garlic. And then this is another can of beef broth. But uh, that's all the ingredients that's going to go in this. This is a very quick meal, but the cook time is a little long. Cook time is about an hour, hour and 15 minutes depending on what type of, uh, what how big your brisket is. All right guys, so as I started to tell you about the beef brisket earlier, um, the beef brisket comes from the portion right by the ribs of the cow. And um, like I said, it's a very tough cut of meat. And I'm using the flat end here. So to season this up, very simple seasoning. Now, typically I would probably um, go ahead and, and sear this piece of meat. But since I'm using a pressure cooker, it's not really necessary. Series, searing a piece of meat really gives it another added depth of flavor. If I had a little bit more time, I probably would, but it's not necessarily, it's not gonna be necessary in the power pressure cooker. But the seasonings for this, you can use any seasoning you want. If I was putting this on a grill, I'd probably put the, almost close to the same rub that I do on my, um, my ribs or my baby backs or, um, anything else a chicken or something like of that nature but this one is going to be very very simple so to start off we're going to put now this let's let's take a look at this so on the beef brisket you got the lean side here and then as i flip this over kind of reminds me of pork belly it's got the fatty side here now i didn't trim the fat off for a simple reason fat equals flavor so you got to season both sides so i'm going to start with the lean side here. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, we're gonna start with the lean side and I'm gonna I'm gonna season this heavily. So, you know, you guys don't get upset because you see me putting a lot of salt on here. So my pink Himalayan sea salt, we're gonna season this really heavily. All right, there we go. Then I'm gonna add my black pepper here. You know me and black pepper. Gonna season this up real good. And if you can't see the meat, don't worry about it. I'm gonna tilt this up so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we got my black pepper on here. We're gonna go with my garlic powder. And then we're gonna go with my lye seasoning salt. So the lean part, I'm seasoning really, really heavy. Really heavy. So as you can see it, it's actually changed colors with the seasoning. So on that lean part, you want that seasoning to get down in the meat. Matter of fact, I will even take my hand and kind of pat this in here just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna flip this over. Of course, some of the seasoning is gonna come off. On the fatty side, I'm not gonna season as much because we're gonna place this in the pressure cooker so the fatty side is up 
and the juices are going to run down into the meat so from the fat so we're going to season a little bit of salt here no need of wasting all that salt it's not going to penetrate all the through all the fat there just a little bit of salt some pepper here There we go, not a whole lot. Then my garlic powder. Now you can put any seasonings you want in. This is my choice. So you can add, you know, cumin on this. You can add, you know, basil. You can add thyme. Whatever you like. This is my choice. All right, so we're going to go with my Lowry seasoning salt next. Doesn't have to be a lot on this side. So honestly, guys, that's all there is to the seasoning. That's simply all there is to it. So, from here, we're just gonna go straight into the pressure cooker. In the pressure cooker, I'm gonna add my onion first here, guys. Just gonna dump my onions down in there. And then I'm gonna add two of my, my two cans of beef broth. I'm gonna add the one there first. And then we're gonna add my, um, my brisket here. And like I said, this is going to be fat side up. So we're going to place this in here just like that. Fat side up. We're going to add my other brisket or my other can of beef broth. I'm going to try to go around the edges so I don't take it all off the top of the, off the brisket, all the seasoning. Around the edges there. And then we're going to add my tomato sauce. Now that tomato sauce... It adds a little bit of flavor, I'm not gonna lie about that. But it really essentially is for the gravy that I'm gonna try to create after the meat is done, so. And then we're gonna add our diced tomatoes over the top here. The last thing I'm gonna add, as I mentioned early, earlier, is my minced garlic. You know I don't go anywhere without my garlic. So I'm gonna add probably about a big heaping tablespoon of this. And that's all there is to it. So we're simply just adding the ingredients to the pressure cooker and we're gonna set this for one hour. By default, that is the longest my pressure cooker goes. So it's gonna take about an hour and 15 minutes for this. It may even take a tad bit longer, but about an hour and 15 minutes, we're gonna place this on a high and um, on the pressure cooker. So we're gonna put the lid on here now. As I always do with the pressure cooker, at least the power pressure cooker, I pull this out just a little bit before I put the lid on, guys. So, here we go. Got the lid on. All right, so we're gonna lock it down. Make sure the arrow and the little line lines up for me. And then we're simply just gonna hit the meat chicken button here. And we're gonna increment this up to high and we're gonna leave it on one hour you're gonna see it go around and around it's gonna start building pressure at that point guys you know once it builds the pressure up then it's gonna count down for one hour and then I'll start it again after that hour is up for about another 15 maybe 20 minutes and I'm gonna show you a finished product guys the goal of the um, for me is not to make this so it's gonna be mush but you should be able to slice this to be super tender and we should be able to eat it down here with a spoon. And it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. I just turned the pressure cooker on. You guys didn't see that, but I did turn the pressure cooker on for another 20 minutes. Um, I didn't even take the lid off. All I did was just restart it. I knew it was going to take that long. So anyway, here's the brisket. As you can see, it's shrunk up quite a bit. All this top part is just nothing but fat. It'll pull off real easy as you can see it. Look how it's just scraping off. Real simple, I don't even have to put any pressure, it just scrapes right off. So, in any case, we're gonna use the rest of the liquid that's in here to make kind of like a gravy that goes over the, over top of the, um, the brisket. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bit of a slurry. I've got about a cup of, um, of uh, beef broth in this cup. And then I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to mix them up into this. I'm using a little heaping tablespoons. You know my measurements. We're going to stir this up. You can't. You got to use the cold liquid in a cup 
not inside of the pressure cooker. So, we're gonna go ahead and stir this up, get it mixed up good. I got the pressure cooker on because I want it to boil. And we're gonna pour this in here. And we're gonna see it thicken up real nice here. Now I'm not gonna use all of this, but it is gonna thicken up real nice here. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up, thicken up. But that's just gonna be like an au jus or a gravy to go over top of the brisket. So you can see it's thickening up pretty good there. So that's just gonna be an au jus to go over top. All right, guys, so let me show you how, how juicy. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off here. Really no knife pressure. Look at that. Oh my God. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up. It just falls off in my hand. I don't know what to say, guys. It's perfect. I'm gonna plate this up and I'll show you a finished product, guys. Look at this, this is beautiful. I mean, this is brisket at its best. Hey guys, another perfection on the plate, guys. I don't even know what to say. But, I'm gonna take a bite of this because I'm hungry. So I dressed it up with a little mashed potatoes with some of the au jus over top, some mixed vegetables. So I'm gonna take a little bite over here. Let me get a little taste. Let me go over here. Look at this. It just pulls apart. Look at that. It just pulls apart. <laughs> get a little mashed potato. Hey guys, that's absolutely delicious. It makes the meat so tender. I mean, it, it is, it's unbelievable. It's almost like to the point of pastrami, but it's not pastrami, it's, it's brisket. But you know, pastrami comes from the brisket. So, hey guys, I don't know what else to say. You gotta try this, you gotta pressure cooker, put it in there an hour, 20 minutes, hour 30 minutes, be beautiful. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. Hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.